So on every recreational dive that I do, I'm pretty much always diving nitrox. Why should you follow suit and do the same thing? Let's dive in and find out. <laughs> Enriched air nitrox, or nitrox as we all more commonly call it. Well, to understand that, you have to understand the basic composition of a regular tank of air, which is 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. Now, nitrox is any blend where the oxygen is higher than 21% and less than 40% for recreational purposes. There are higher blends of nitrox, but those are getting into technical diving and we'll cover those in a later video. So if you've ever hung around a group of divers who may have not fully understood what they were talking about, you've probably heard myths and rumors about nitrox. Number one being that it lets you dive deeper. So the higher percentage of oxygen that you have in your gas, actually the lower you can dive. So if you have diver A who's diving a regular tank of air at 21%, they can go deeper than diver B who has a nitrox fill of 36%. And that's because oxygen at certain depths and pressures is actually toxic to the body. Rumor number two is that nitrox is dangerous. Diving itself is an inherently dangerous sport and you're all taught that during your open water course. Now, doing things irresponsibly is dangerous, yes, but you'll be taught how to handle nitrox in a safe and responsible manner to help you mitigate the risk of diving. Rumor number three is that nitrox is expensive. Here in my area in South Florida, I believe it's $10 for a regular air fill and 15 for a nitrox on average. For an extra $5, I'll gladly pay the difference. Give me a nitrox fill to help me mitigate risk. Rumor number four, nitrox is for experienced and advanced divers only. That's absolutely false. Almost every agency that I know of will allow you to take a nitrox course with your open water course at the same time. The nitrox course does not require any dives. It requires an academic skill session and then you'll have to analyze a tank and you'll be shown how to do that. Now, when should you be diving nitrox? Well, like I said in the intro, I pretty much dive nitrox on each and every single recreational dive that I do. But there are a couple of situations which might have more precedent for it. Number one being repetitive dives. So let's say you book a three tank boat charter and you're going out. Well, between each dive, you're gonna have what's called a surface interval. And that means you're gonna have to stay out of the water for a certain given period of time so you can burn off the excess nitrogen that was in your system. Well, if you're diving nitrox, you're gonna have a lower level of nitrogen in your system than you would on regular air. So that means you won't have to stay out of the water as long and you can get back in and enjoy your fun. In situation number two, where I'll consider switching over to nitrox is when you're hitting your no decompression limit. And what that means is that your computer's telling you to go up, but you've still got plenty of air in your tank. And it's doing that because you've exceeded the amount of bottom time that you're allowed with the gas blend that you're currently diving. And situation number three, where I would be on nitrox is if I'm doing a deeper recreational dive. So if I'm diving anywhere between 60 to 130 feet, absolutely I wanna be on nitrox. And that's because as long as I'm not breathing like a gas hog, then that nitrox is going to increase my no decompression limit and allow me to stay down there longer. And that could allow me to get a better photo of a fish, allow me to do some more spear fishing or whatever it is, see more of a wreck. So that's gonna allow me to, you know, it's gonna be ultimately beneficial to me and it's gonna allow me more experiences underwater. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed and learned a little something from this video on nitrox. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and share down below. Also, if you didn't see last week's video on how to prepare a new dive mask, I'll link that right over here. And don't forget, once we get to 500 subscribers, we're gonna randomly draw one of our subscribers' names and give that mask away. I'll be back next week with another video, but until then, plan your dive and dive your plans.